right, today's the big day for the big pour. We're doing the second half of this driveway, and it's a little bigger than the first half that we did. I just wanted to explain a few things what's going on before we get started. We've got our Harley rake here, we got our land plane, our laser level, and our roller and our dingo. What we did here is we had a back drag, we had to jackhammer all this out and back drag it. I had to put it even for the weekend. I just got done pulling it out with the dingo because the Harley rake won't get close to the edge. And we're going to turn this stuff up right here with the Portland and then push it back. And we already put our first layer of Portland. Now we're going about an inch and a half to two inches on top of this and we're going to grind it in about four inches. Uh, mix it in I should say. And here's the other edge that we dug out and that we back dragged and they got fluffy stuff here that's all going to turn into ground stabilization and get pushed back in there real nice. And the same thing for that edge right there and meet in the sidewalk and the same thing here. So we have a lot of edges to tend to in this pour where we didn't have that in the first pour. We just had that one edge and we rolled to here. We went a little further and then saw cut it. So I just want to explain that process. It's a little bit of hand detail that we're trying to work out with equipment in the future. I had a jackhammer all that, but uh, and then throw the chunks up and then regrind it with the Harley rake. This is all grinded, ready to go. All that Portland, it's over 40 bags. We already have five bags that we brought from the shop. That's five bags of Portland and that's run right there. So you can see how easily we're gonna eat up all that Portland in this footprint right here. So that's where we're at right now. Just wanted to fill you in. And we also have our tamper here to get into this corner here. There's no way the roller's gonna fit in there. All right, and then we're gonna hit it with the finish machine and put a surface on it with some special additives, which we won't get into right now. Thanks for watching.